Welcome to Game Changers, everybody. I am the Kelster Mania, Kelly Keller, host and executive producer, along with my dear friend Joe D'Amico, live from Las Vegas. Joe, NFL football, is there anything better, my friend? You know, we're, we've got a week, uh, excuse me, a month in the rearview mirror already, Kelly. It's just, exciting, you know, we know what to what, what to make out of a lot of these teams. I'll tell you what, though. I spoke to some friends of mine over at the Westgate Superbook. You know, they get some of the biggest action in all the world. And yeah. the lines are getting sharper. During this, uh, during this week, they've had probably the smallest amount of bets. Uh, money coming in as uh, since, uh, since the season started. So lines are getting sharper. I think general public, as well as the sharp money, the wise guys are waiting a little longer to see how things are playing out, see if lines are moving a little bit more on their own during the week before they start moving. Little light action so far, but they expect a big, big, big turn by Sunday. They really do. Absolutely. I was looking just for our office football pool, which uh, just before he gets on here and brags about it, New York Pele is just a little bit ahead of us. So hopefully we'll kick his ass this week. Oh, you and I, uh, you and I got a few games to talk about. I thought this week is very, very tough. When you look at the lines, there's, as you say, there's some very, very sharp lines. Uh, I've done a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of work. I think there's some agreement we have within the crew of us uh, here. But let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the first game that you like uh, here, Joe, and that's the uh, Tennessee uh, is going into New York to play the Jets. Uh, I'm, I've become a huge fan of Tennessee now after having been in Nashville a week and a half ago. Man, oh, man, I love that city. Tennessee minus seven against the Jets. What do you think in there, bud? You know, Kelly, sports fans, there's a lot of games that just when I'm doing my numbers at the beginning of the week that jump out on me. And and sometimes they pan out, but I still have to do my due diligence. This was a game that jumped out at me. And after doing my due diligence and looking into this game, I really love it. And, it, and I may still put it out as a premium play down the road, but I've got to yeah. tell you, I want everybody out there to get a winner. Sports fans, we're talking Titans, Jets. Just like me, though, Kelly, I'm going to keep this analysis very short and extremely sweet. It's no surprise, my friends, that the Titans are perched atop the AFC South. It's also no surprise that the Jets are winless. Poor New York fans, I feel bad. Listen, guys, it takes at least five years for a good college quarterback to develop into a good pro quarterback. Poor, poor, poor Zach Wilson, guys. New York's passing lack of offense ranks 30th. Wilson doesn't have a good ground game to rely on. They rank 29th overall. The unit, dead last in scoring in the entire NFL. 20, uh, just horrible. They're accounting Kelly for 6.7 points per game. The Jets D, yeah. the Jets D isn't that bad, but they spend so much team time on the field that they're getting worn down come the second half, and they're getting beat, beat, beat. The legs of Derrick Henry will keep the New York stop unit very honest and allow Ryan Tannehill to hook up with his favorite wideout, Julio Jones, and even Henry coming out of the backfield. Watch out for him. He's becoming a weapon coming out of the backfield. The Titans D has improved with each contest, and now they face an overworked Jets offensive line and a rookie quarterback. New York, guys, 1-5 against the spread the last six games played in the month of October. And 0-4, the last four games played as an underdog. Guys, this line is 7 right now. Tennessee, I have them winning by 11, 12 points. 7 is a gift. If it goes any higher, air on the side of caution. But out of 7, the Titans are a winner, Kelly. Absolutely. That was uh, going to be my free play this week as well. I really, though, am also leaning to the under. 44 and a half is the total here. The Jets just can't score. They were shut out in one game, as you say, 6.7 average points per game, a touchdown each in the first uh, the first couple of games. You just can't get that offense, especially if it's a very tight Tennessee defense. I think this game is going to be low scoring. Uh, uh, you know, I do like the team total under on the Jets as well, too. That's a great prop bet that I like this week. So that's going to be one of my free plays. Uh, Joe, uh, these are these are great plays that we are putting out as free plays. But the key is getting the big games. And I've got a couple in my package this weekend. Tell me about your premium play package before we get into the second game. Well, Kelly, overall in, in football, my big games are 11-3 and three this football season. I went 7-2 in preseason. I finished number one in the world. I crush it the first few weeks of NFL. But I want to be totally transparent. Last Sunday, I hit my first speed bump of the season. I went 0-2. But sports fans, as a 12-time top NFL candidate, handicapper on the planet, on the planet, 12 times, 12 times. I want you to know, Yogi Berra doesn't even have 12 rings in baseball. I want you to know, Michael Jordan doesn't have 12 rings. 12 NFL handicapping championships in the NFL. Guys, 
Save the flavor of last week because this Sunday, not only do I get you paid, I get you rich. By Monday, you're going to name your next born Joe D'Amico, whatever your last name is. Just name your next one because you're not going to love me. You're going to name your next born after me. Kelly, I'm going to blow it up. I talk about losers because they stick in my crew, crow a lot more. I think the yeah. two are between. I mean, I'll be honest with you. We've all had some great dates in our life, but I remember the bad dates more than I remember the good dates. And I'm going to tell you because they really stand up. And those losers, they stand in my crow. Last Sunday, I pooped to bed, but I'm going to tell you now, save the flavor, sports fans, because when I'm done this Sunday, you're going to go into Monday, your next born, you're going to name Joe D'Amico, I promise you that. You're a handicapper, not a candy capper, and not a candy ass as well, too, my friend. I yeah, want to talk about the next game. You've got Pittsburgh at Green Bay. Talk to me about this game. This is going to be a fun one to watch. My, oh, my, Kelly. Both Pittsburgh and Green Bay are dealing with a laundry list of injuries, but these are two entirely different teams playing two entirely different types of football, heading in two entirely different directions, guys. Since their season opening loss, Green Bay has shown that they're an NFC elite team. After a season opening outright win, Pittsburgh has dropped two in a row to two squads that they were favored over and on paper should have beaten, guys. The Steelers' offense just can't seem to punch it in the end zone and won't be able to keep pace with Aaron Rodgers and the high-flying Packers. Oh, that offense is amazing. Something unique this year that I've noticed about Green Bay. They've been adapting and changing their offensive schemes to the defenses they're playing since week one. They've changed in week two and week three. They're going to do the same thing here, guys. Defensively, the Packers can counter Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers' only offensive threat their passing game with a top 10 pass defense. Green Bay gets another win in cover while Pittsburgh sinks further into the abyss. This game, Kelly, it gets uglier than the stands at the Steelers home game. I don't know if you've ever seen the stands at the Steelers home game. Apparently the buffets are 24 hours, but there are no dentists in the entire Three Rivers area. This game gets ugly. Guys, Pittsburgh, three and seven against the spread. The last 10 overall. Green Bay 5-2 and two against the number. The last seven as a home fave. The Packers crush the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger sinks further into the abyss here, and Aaron Rodgers shows that week one was a fluke. Based on that, I've just taken uh, Pittsburgh off of my Tinder list of areas to research for the next Mrs. Kellner. I'll tell you, that is a great game. That is a great side. Love that one as well, too. Guys, we're going to be back with New York Kelly, the man who loves taking points. We're going to be back after a quick commercial break, and we're going to wrap this show up. The best bets are not on Wall Street. GameChangers.ca, the ultimate source for sports betting information. Well, we're back with New York Kelly. I'm Kelster Mania. Welcome to Game Changers NFL Week 4. New York Kelly, talk to me, brother. Let's talk about winning some money. What do you got for us this week? Got, I think first game you're uh, looking at this uh, Colts-Miami game. Yeah, this Colts-Miami game. I, the Colts team stinks. They, they are last in the league, maybe second to last to the Jets as far as going into the red zone, uh, 12 times, scoring four touchdowns. Uh, don't like them at all. Miami does, has lost their quarterback, but Jacoby Brissett will be good enough. Uh, the line here is, and you guys know I never lay points in the pros once in a while. In uh, Miami, uh, Miami's about a one-and-a-half point favorite. I will lay the wood here. That's as much wood as I'll ever lay is minus one and a half. Miami. Yeah, I heard one and a half. Is all, the, all the wood you've got there, my friend. I agree with you on this game. I think that Miami minus one and a half is a hell of a side, hell of a line, hell of a play. Any other reasons why this looks like a top play for you for a free play? Uh, I, I just don't like the quarterback for uh, Indy Carson Wentz. He's a loser. Uh, I, I don't like him. I, I just don't like anything about it. Miami is one and two. Uh, Indy's 0 and 3. Uh, it seems like two bad teams, but Miami, one thing, they played the Raiders to the end. They yeah, they, they lost in uh, overtime, and uh, yeah. they are a solid team, and they play very good defense. So yeah. it, there's only one side to look at. That's it. Absolutely. Nate's uh, afternoon West Coast battle coming up in Seattle at San Francisco. Uh, Seattle a little bit disappointing so far this year. What's your take on this, Jeff? Yeah, well, Seattle they they're up they're up and down, but I like them. But I like the plus three here. I don't like San Francisco. Um, what they did against Green Bay to come back and to blow that game in the last thirty seven seconds was deplorable. I think the team is flat. I think it's a bad spot for San Francisco. A great spot for Seattle coming off that loss in Minnesota. Um, Wilson is a terrific quarterback. 
Uh, Garoppolo is nothing special. So take the plus three here and feel pretty comfortable by halftime. I think you'll be uh, very comfortable winning this game. Well, the only thing, flat things that I don't like, my friend, are a NFL football team and a first date. So I agree with you. I like Seattle here uh, to come back and really turn this around again. Emotions are, are important to handicap. Huge letdown. Absolutely huge letdown at the end of that game. That was a hell of a game to watch last week. I think uh, I think you're on track there. Let's bring Joe D'Amico back in. Let's do a recap here before we start talking about a little bit about our uh, packages. Uh, Pele, you've got uh, you got a nice NFL package coming up this weekend. What do you got for games? Yes, I have two outstanding games. I was 2-0 last week, 7-3 for the season, but the two games that I have right now are absolute standouts. You'll be taking points, and you'll be very happy. Two games that will probably win straight up. You go to uh, go to GameChangers.ca. We've got premium plays. We've got our free picks. Going to recap our free picks. New York Kelly, like in Miami, minus one and a half. Seattle, plus three. Joe D'Amico, you are on the Tennessee Titans and the Green Bay Packers, and you and I both agree uh, on the uh, on the uh, New York uh, the New York Jets. And I like the under in that game. Joe, what do you got in your package this weekend? The guys should be going on now. You also have some individual games you can buy up there, don't you? Oh, absolutely, Kelly. Overall, eleven and three this this football season on big games. Known as the best big game hunter on the planet, guys. I've earned that moniker for a reason. You come hunting with me. We're going to hunt, stalk, and kill your bookmaker. I'm going to tell you right now, this Sunday, because last Sunday I hit my first hiccup, my first beep up of the season. Very transparent. Oh, it do. Pisses me off. I went on to. Pisses me off so much that I'm talking about losers and not all the winners I gave you the last few weeks. I'm going to tell you now, this Sunday, I will crush your book. You follow me, not just to the bank. Your guy is going to get paid. You're going to get rich. Follow me this Sunday. I'll have individual games up, Kelly and Jeff. I will have some of the biggest NFL games so far this season. I might even have a game of the month up there. That's how much I like something going into Sunday. All my games will be available Thursday evening. I've waited. Now, Kelly, as you know, I talk to a lot of the people here in Vegas and around the country, a lot of bigger gambling groups, so I know where lines are going to move. And to yep. me, a half a point is always the difference between winning and losing. So I know one or two games will be moving in my favor. So I'll be releasing games later tonight and Thursday because I want you out there to get every edge you can to make money. We're going to maximize your profits while we minimize your expenditures. Guys, follow me this Sunday because Monday, I told you, you can name your next born after me. I promise you that. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to play those games early because I'm going to be on a plane coming down to Las Vegas for next week, Monday Night Football. We might even have some uh, some Facebook Live, so make sure you like, follow, share, retweet. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We have some new TikTok stuff coming soon. We may actually have a couple of female co-hosts in the works coming up, too. Some surprises we're working on. So uh, a bunch of things in the works for Game Changers. Make it a habit. Make it a plan to go to GameChangers.ca on a daily basis for our free picks, our free plays. Go and get our premium packages. We have got the betting edge. New York, Kelly, Joe D'Amico, thanks for joining me. I'm Kelster Mania. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time right here on Game Changers.